The man accused of making these threats is currently in jail on unrelated charges, and it doesn't appear he's going to be charged in this case, and that has parents terrified. At what point is enough going to be enough? Nicole Merrow has so many questions. He's, never he's threatening children. How, th there's nothing that you can do? About why Ryan Connell is not facing charges after Citrus County deputies say he threatened to shoot up Inverness Primary School. That's where Nicole's three children go. Does he have to carry this out in order for people to believe him? The state attorney's office indicated three law enforcement officers overheard Connell discussing his plan to shoot up the school once he's released from jail. We're told he repeated that to his father during a recorded jailhouse phone call. But the state attorney decided these verbal threats don't meet the criteria for criminal conduct, largely because they weren't written down. Whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony, any of it, how do you not find something to charge him with? According to emails from the state attorney, Connell said he wasn't planning to follow through with it, but the district's police chief is skeptical. We believe that this gentleman has the ability and the mindset to carry this type of a threat out. That's why he's increasing security at the school. If there's a threat to a campus, you can bet we're utilizing our resources to beef up that campus. Meanwhile, a district spokesperson says the superintendent was disappointed in the state attorney's decision. For the SAO not to be able to file charges against a man who is clearly making threats to our students, it's, it's very disturbing. And this is far from Connell's first run-in with law enforcement. He's been arrested at least a half dozen times and is currently behind bars for violating his probation. Parents worry what will happen if he's released again. And it's very clear he's escalating. When does somebody step in and say enough is enough? And it's unclear why Connell threatened this particular school. The district plans to have guardians and a school resource officer here for the foreseeable future. In Citrus County, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News.